Jan can take 10 to 15 emergency call-outs in a day, and a new case is just in. We've had a 999 call to see a 32-year-old man who's got a rash and swelling in his mouth. Now, that sounds to me like an allergic reaction. So I've got my camera in the front, Eric has got his camera, and we're going to be getting you as close to the action as possible. Only a couple of minutes later, and we arrive at our destination. Hello, is it Alan? Yeah. Take a seat. My name's Jan. What's the problem today? Uh, I thought I had like a reaction or something. Uh, your tongue is swelling, your throat look. feels a bit tight. Have a, have you mind if I just can? But, uh, uh, um, so your tongue feels big in your mouth, does it? Yeah, my ear feels quite tight. Okay. I was a bit short of breath, but. Alan is experiencing something called anaphylactic shock, an extreme allergic reaction. Tigger and Sasha look concerned. So is there anything that you're aware of that you're allergic to? No, 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 nothing no. that you know of? No. Although Alan's being pretty brave, he has a life-threatening condition. His lips and tongue can swell, and that causes problems with breathing and swallowing. So it's actually really important that Jan's here. What I'll do is I'm going to give you an injection into your arm in a second <clears throat> with a drug called adrenaline. Now, you may have heard of adrenaline. It's actually a hormone that your body makes. What it's doing, in Alan's case, is constricting the blood vessels in his tongue, in his lips, and will actually reduce that swelling. In cases like this, it can be life-saving. I'm sending um, Alan in the hospital today just so that I can make sure his tongue doesn't swell again. So the drugs I've given only work for a short time. How are you feeling, Alan? Do you feel like it's working? Yeah, I do feel a little, a little swelling's going down. And... Yeah. An ambulance has arrived to take Alan into hospital. You be right walking out, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Fine, yeah. It's potentially a life-threatening problem that he had, and Jan's really fixed him up. You could see how much the swelling in his lips had gone down, and that happens all the way down his throat and into his lungs. So that's really, really good news, and they'll be able to treat him really well in hospital. Now it's time for us to hit the hospitals to show you what goes on. Today, Zand is on duty in the plaster room. If you break a bone, you'll come here to get it plastered. Plastering broken limbs is a technique that's been used for over 200 years, and this team sees hundreds of patients each week, so they need to work fast. A plaster cast keeps a broken bone in place so that it can heal in the correct position. Jack, I'm Dr Zond. Can you tell me what's happened? I've broken my thumb, tripped and it snapped. This bit here. Right in the joint. When you get a cast like Jack, first a sock goes on to stop the cast itching. Then a layer of cotton wool padding. And finally a layer of plaster, which sets super quick into a hard shell. So you're just going to look like, yeah, Jack says yes to this. Now, everyone who gets a cast on obviously has to have it taken off. Like Jordan here. Jordan, what did you do? <laughs> Broke my ankle. How did you do that? I was playing rugby. Love and kisses. <laughs> Looks like it might all have been worth <laughs> it. <laughs> to get that cast off requires a saw, but not just any saw. Check this out. What this saw can do is distinguish between hard and soft things. Whoa! So it can cut through things like wood or plaster cast, but it won't damage anything soft like your skin. Let me show you on your hands. Well, it's amazing. It just tickles. That's because it has a special vibrating blade, so when it's used by an expert, it means your cast can be off quickly and without hurting you. Anyway, time to meet our next patient. Hang on, I recognise that person. What have you done? I broke my leg, what do you think I did? Did you come off your swing? Did you come off your trampoline? Yes. <laughs> Actually, the reason I'm here is because I'm going to get Zond to race Julie and see who can get the cast off quicker. <laughs> On one arm will be specialist orthopaedic practitioner Julie, with 17 years experience. And on the other arm will be Dr Zand, who's been on the ward for just one day. On your marks, set, go. This ward sees hundreds of patients a week, so the team have to be able to get casts on and off quickly. The question is, is Zand up to the job? Julie's already on the inside. Come on, Zond, what are you doing? 
a quick snip with the scissors, and I think we have a winner. <laughs> Somebody is still going, though. Oh! No. Am I winning? Uh, let me think about that. No. Oh, my goodness. Is he ever going to finish? Uh, uh, oh, yes. About time, too. What was the margin? Judy, you finished in an impressive 51 seconds. Zond, you took just under five minutes. <laughs> if you worked here, which would be ridiculous, Julie would see five times as many people as you. That just goes to show how skilled experts like Julie are. So if you break a bone, you'll be in safe hands, quite literally.